In this lesson, we're going to be creating the base mesh for our character's face. We'll start adding detail for the edge loops around the eyes and around the mouth. So, with that being said, let's get started. Now first off, I'm going to take the body and the helmet and I put them on layers. So, I'm just going to hide them for now because we don't need them. And now we can really get started. So, to start off our character's face, I'm going to create a plane. And once it's created, bring it up into place and rotate it at 90 degrees in the x-axis and there we are now we're only going to be modeling the left side and we'll instance to the right so let's come down here and let's change that plane let's change its subdivisions to one and we'll add resolution as we start working on this character so I'm going to add one edge loop that goes down the center and select faces, select the right side and delete it since we're only going to be working on the right, uh, I mean on the left. Now grab these vertices and place them just above the eyebrow and one over here in the corner. We'll move this one right there towards the back of the jaw and this one at the chin. Now we're going to be doing a lot of jumping back and forth between the front view and the side view. So let's bring these into place. Alright, so this will lead our face so we can just bring them out. That should be good. And Bring this back just to the bottom of the chin. This vertice can be the jaw. We're just going to start roughing out this shape should be good right there. There we go. So now with that in place, let's insert an edge loop just down the center here. We're going to take this top vertice, this middle vertice and just put it above the nose and this one in the back just behind the eye. That should be good. So th what we're going to do is this top plane will be the foundation for our eye socket and the bottom will be what we'll use for the mouth. And the edge loops that will be created will be nice and clean. So let's actually push that right there and just to give some more space for that eye I'm going to move it right here. There we have it. Alright, so now let's just select this face and extrude inward. You can just scale it and delete that face. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom. We're going to use our hotkey extrude it in scale it, and delete that face. Now we're, one other thing is grab the face that was just created from that extrude and delete that as well. And now if we grab these vertices we bring them over we now have the foundation for the mouth. You can just grab these vertices and bring them to the corner of where the mouth is. That to the top and that will be the bottom lip. There we are. And while we're here, let's start placing these vertices for the eyes. Should be good. And as we up res, we'll start forming the eye. It will definitely start to take shape. But this is good. This is a good start. All right. So now if we jump to the side view, we can start placing it here. And if things don't look right, we can definitely take some creative um, our own creative input and adjust accordingly. So let's go ahead and move that there and this last one roughly right there. Alright, now with that in place let's actually insert an edge loop that goes around the mouth right here and we're going to take this bottom vertice and move it just below the nose and just grab these vertices and get them close to the corner of the mouth. That should be good. Actually, yeah, that should be good. And this will be just below the bottom of the lip. There we are. Since these are closer, it should live up a little bit further. That should be good. All right. Now, Let's add an edge loop that goes 
right through here in the middle and up here. Now we can grab these vertices and just start to rough out the shape of this eye. Rough out the forehead. That's, we're just going to be uh, up resing this and placing each vertice one by one. We're not going to rush through this because this is a very important phase. We'll actually have that be the nose. There we are. And put that there. I'm going to move these vertices just to hug the nose corner just a little bit more. Mm. You know what? I'm going to insert one more edge loop here. This will be the nose. That should be good. This can hug that lip line as well. It's looking good. There we have it. Now let's go to the side view. Make sure everything is lined up here nicely. All right. Give that cheek some volume. There we have it. It's starting to definitely take shape here. Now let's actually make our character's nose. So if we come up here to our, our front view, select faces, select the face for that nose, and actually let's go to perspective. And let's just extrude this out and bring it out in the X. There we are. And if we come over here, it did create a face that we do not need. Let's delete that. All right. Now if we come to our side view, we can start to match the drawing as close as possible. There we have it. It's looking good. Everything's starting to take shape now, which is nice. It's going to be very rough, but as we start to add resolution, that detail will start to pop. All right, let's add an, an edge loop right here and right here for the eye. And if we come here to our front view, let's actually straighten this out and bring that to be the corner of the eye. And this will be that corner as well. There we have it. It's looking good. Let's add an edge loop right here and move these vertices over just a little bit and this will come down to be more closely to define the chin itself. There we have it. All right, it's definitely starting to take shape now. This is one of my favorite favorite techniques for creating the face mesh makes really nice edge flow for our character. All right. So, now let's insert an edge loop right here. And start to rough out and match the silhouette as close as possible. It's looking good. That's basically all we're going to be doing now. These are our landmarks. Our landmarks are all set. So now we're just going to start adding edge loops and start defining our shape a little bit more. So continue to do that, adding more resolution and matching the shape. And in the next lesson, we will start to create the rest of the head and clean up some of these edge loops so that we don't have six pointed stars. So I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll take care of that.